Well, hello YouTube. Another day of working on the boat. As you can see here, got some big boxes from eTrailer.com. And these are all new tires. These are all new tires on galvanized rims. So, there we go. Lodestar galvanized rims and new tires. Why are you getting new tires and new rims? Well, I'll show you why. There's my present rims, and they're like a magnesium alloy, aluminum, something. They're not 100% aluminum. And here's always been the issue. This one right here, just this past week, I had to take it back to the trailer shop because this was leaking. The valve stems always seem to have a hard time seating in this hole. And another thing with the aluminum rims is that the bead, when the tire flexes, if it gets a little low, which I don't let it get very low because I got a compressor and I try to stay on top of it, but we've had to use bead sealer in here just to keep the tire from the bead flexing. So these, see how thick and everything they are? They're sort of a real pain in the butt when it really gets down to it. I actually got these when I, I had, originally I had galvanized rims. When I got my, my Rolls axle trailer, boat trailer. And I don't even know what I did with the rims to tell you the truth. But what I'm doing is I'm swapping out these aluminums for these galvanized. And I kind of couldn't beat the deal at eTrailer.com. <clears throat> I mean, even if I used my local trailer shop that I do all my business with, I would have had to uh, take the trailer there, leave it, blah, 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 you know, and, you know, get an appointment sort of a thing. Um, and these were just delivered. Uh, UPS. There's the trailer tire size. It's a ST20575D14. Alright, galvanized Lodestar. Uh, tubeless, of course. But see how the valve stem sticks out here a lot? And it doesn't on the aluminums. So. These will eventually get kind of nastied up, I know. So, that's just kind of a, I don't know, a word of warning. I've been dealing with these aluminum rims for I don't know how many years. And I just now finally said, screw it, I'm over it. And see how that far that sits down in there? So... Even the trailer shop doesn't like aluminum rims. So now I got my work cut out for me. Jacking it up and changing out every single one. So I would say I'm going to have some serious spares. I'm going to have spares. I made a spot in the shop here to stack all these up. Until I get really sick and tired of looking at them, and I'll maybe sell these uh, aluminum rims and tires, but I probably would say I doubt it. You can't have enough spare trailer tires. Uh, up here, my actual spare 
that lives up here on the tongue. That's a galvanized rim with a tire with four, four plugs in it. So I went ahead and I put a tube inside this tire. And so it's got four plugs. I remedied that by putting a tube in it. And that's been a really good spare tire and it rides really good, believe it or not. I wouldn't take it on a road trip to Texas by any means. So, yeah, you know, I see all those bass boat trailers and, and I tried to be fancy. You know, I tried to be fancy and have the aluminum rims because they just clean up better. But, you know, you get older and you say, good God, I'm just getting tired. Tired of these things losing air all the time. So, I had the opportunity to get these delivered to my house for free. And I believe each rim with the tire on it was only like $124. And like nowhere could it beat that. Nowhere. And they came all the way from Missouri in these boxes by the UPS man just now so I mean you kind of can't beat that deal I'm not a millionaire <laughs> I can't spend you know money on things like this just hilly nilly this is already a big deal to put all new tires and rims on the trailer so it's already a big deal so I just thought I'd share that with you aluminum rims are sort of a pain and I've been dealing with them for years and years and years. And I just got fed up with it. I mean, time to turn around and put new valve stems with, with bead sealer on it. I'll show you. I keep, because I, let me get, let me get it over here. I stay up on all this. Here's a can of bead sealer. Rim bead sealer. But I had to use this. You got to use this. It's really. Let me open the can for you here and show you what bead sealer looks like. I mean, look at this. It is some nasty black stuff. I mean, I got practically a full can. But you got to use this on the valve stems to try to get them sealed on that aluminum. And, it, and they never want to seal. And see, I used to do every all this stuff myself. I don't know, it's going to be hard to see. But see this thing right here? This red thing right here is a Harbor Freight Central Machinery Manual Tire Changer. Oh my God. Oh my God. You want to be sweating to the oldies. Go ahead and put a tire on that. Break the bead, then have to pull the tire off. Oh my God, do that on a July day. It's hot enough. Whew. It's hot enough right now. But I've done two or three trailer tires on there. I've never attempted to do like my truck tires. But I got that for emergency situations of changing out a tire. I don't believe I'll have to do that now. I don't believe I'll have to do that now because I'll have five spares. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. That's what my afternoon project is going to be. And check out the community post that I put up just today. In two hours of what we had this morning, oh my God, the tide was perfect. Had two, two kids, one really small, he didn't know what was going on. But then I think I had one of them was 10 and two dads. In two hours, we had like 15 croakers and, and three big reds in the like 
14 pound range, 12 to 14 pound range. Redfish lost one to the anchor line. Man, it's going out. It's going. It's it's going on out there. So not to get off subject, but yeah, fishing is never off subject, is it? One thing I was smart to do, and I think it almost came standard, and I've said this a million times before, but on a rolls axle trailer. I believe it was standard when I bought mine like 16 years ago. I got all stainless hubs, studs, and stainless lug nuts. So when it comes to hubs, the only thing I ever have to worry about is just changing the bearings out. And I have that done. I don't do that myself. I just had it done just like two months ago. So, that's really one thing that is really good to have, is stainless hubs, studs, and lug nuts. I'm going to clean these lug nuts off, because they're covered in all kinds of grease and everything. The tires came with 40 pounds. I'm going to run about 50, 55. Alrighty, I'm all done. I'll tell you what comes in handy, and I've mentioned it many times before on other trailer videos, is a half-inch electrical impact wrench. If you don't have like a good, you know, compressor system with air, this is almost better for the sheer fact that you can take it with you. Comes with uh, with all the um, sockets and comes with uh, chipping you know edges or whatever you call them blades so thanks to my dad for buying this and me procuring it from him so let me show you what's all what all the rims look like now because this will be probably the last time they'll look so new you know, you got a boring life uh, when you're excited about tires and galvanized rims and, you know, an hour and a half worth of hot labor. I was telling my charter customer this morning how much I was looking forward to this. So here you go. There you go. Take a good look at that because that's the last time they'll be that shiny. Even though I'm a big wheel washer, when I come home at the end of the day, I really spray down my rims. That's that side. We'll go over here to the other side. So, if I don't say so myself, Good job, Dave. See you on the next one.